guys are dilation. You guys have heard the word dilation before, where your eyes, they dilate, right? They tend to get bigger in the dark. They tend to get smaller in the, in the light. Also, in the movies, you guys go look at the very back, the movies, like, really, really small. But then on the screen, it's way, way bigger. So that's what we call dilation. Uh, and then we, we have a number we call scale factor. He says the scale factor is less than one, then our number is expected to be uh, a bit to get smaller. But I'm dealing with positive only. So number less than one gets smaller. Bigger than one, it gets bigger. If it's by if the scale factor is one, then that's in half, right? Everything stays the same. Not bigger, not smaller, stays the same. So looking at uh, question number one, my scale factor is one point five, so I'm expecting it to get a little bit bigger. Not that much bigger, but at least a little bit bigger. The way we do this, first, let me get the coordinates that I have. The coordinates that I have for, for x are 2, 2. The coordinates that I have for y are negative 2, 2. And the coordinates that I have for z are negative 1, negative 2. Right? That's what I have right now. Now, my dilation is 1.5. What that means multiply every number by 1.5. Right, a calculator will help you guys out, but if I look at x prime, I'm going to get 3, 3. Once again, I multiply each number by 1.5. For y prime, I'm going to get negative 3, positive 3. And for z prime, I'm going to get uh, negative 1.5, negative 3. Once again, each of my values, each of them, I multiply by 1.5. And that was my scale factor. So, no, negative 1 times 1.5. Oh. So I'm going to multiply everything by 1.5. Mm. Okay, now, now that I have those, you had a question? Now, so let's plug them in. Uh, x prime is 3, 3. So there's x prime. Let me just set so you can set. So there's x prime. y prime is negative 3, 3. So that's y prime. z prime is negative 1 and a half. So negative 1.5 is like right in between negative 1 and negative 2, right? So negative 1.5 and then negative 3. That gives me c prime. Would I be thinking to like, no, that's not negative 1.5, that's like negative 1.4. Like, would I be thinking not necessary? So now that I have those, let me connect my dots. And once again, the figure got bigger. Not that much bigger, but it got bigger, right? Because 1.5 is not that much bigger from 1. That's why it didn't get that much bigger. So that's all we do. The scale factor is very important. Now my scale factor is 1.5. Multiply everything by that scale factor. All right, any questions on the first number three? Number three? Well, dilation means just multiply? Dilation means get bigger or smaller. Just, just graph it. But, um, right, so let's take a look at number three. Let me get the coordinates as they are right now. So all of you, right now, it's negative three, negative two. X is negative two, zero. Y is two, negative one. And Z, I have one, negative four. So my dilation is one half by that number less than one. So I'm expecting it actually to get smaller. That if my dilation is less than one, it's smaller. Do you have a question? Would it be bigger if it's negative? Yeah. Or it's the negative, what it does, is that's what reflects. The negative dilation reflects. So I'm just looking at the absolute value of my scale factor. If it's less than one, uh, it's way smaller. All right, so let me take a look at W prime. Right, multiply everything by one half.
you guys are using a calculator, what happens if you're taking a 0 0.5? If the multiplier we get by 0 0.5, then I'm going to get negative 1.5, negative 1 for a double prime. For x prime, I'm going to get negative 1, 0. For y prime, I'm going to get 1, negative 0.5. And for c prime, I'm going to get 0.5 and negative 2. So how do you multiply it? Let me graph it. Double prime is negative one and a half minus one. Uh, negative one zero. One negative half. And then half. My y prime is. my C prime, if I connect my dots, as a matter of fact, the distance between Wx and the distance between W prime and X prime got cut in half, right, that's what the dilution is happening, so, alright, that's how the picture looks like. Any questions on the first? Yes. <coughs> what was your question? Oh, this point right here? That's point X. The little Y for the Y axis. I know it's not that easy to read, but um, that's the point. All right, any other questions for the first point? No? Any? All right, let's take a look at question number nine. All right, I'm giving you guys the first image and the image right after. Thank you, we're up here. So it says write a rule to describe this transformation. I'm going to say dilation, because today we're dealing with dilations only. Dilation of something, right? The something is the scale factor. The way we're going to find the scale factor, let's find the values of a point to begin with. If I look at my point V, the coordinates of V are negative 5, positive 3. If I look at my coordinates of V prime, I get negative 2.5 and then 1.5. So you guys see what I did, right? Like I got the coordinates. Now for the for the scale factor, okay, we're going to do a division. Get any of the two values from the prime. So if I could get the x value of the v prime, and then divide it by the x value on the non prime. So what I mean with that, let me go negative 2.5 divided by negative 5. Right, I just went straight like that. Right, does it have to be the A value? Not necessarily, it could be the Y value as well. I just take A value. Right, you can get the Y value negative 1.5 divided by and 1.5 divided by 3. So what do we get from that? 0.5? So my scale factor is 0 0.5. Right, it doesn't matter which point we follow, and it doesn't matter whether we get the X value or the Y value. It doesn't matter. All right. Any questions up until I think it takes us to number 16? Yeah. Any questions for the first 16? Mm. That, mm, it sounds like yes. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at 16. One point that I'm going to follow, because the coordinates are easy to get, is my point E. The coordinates are negative 1, 2, and for E prime are negative 2, 4. Because I want to deal with positives, 
I'm going to get the y value this time. So I'm going to go 4 divided by 2. So I'm going to call this dilation of 2. Alright, we could have done the negative as well, but let's just avoid it for the minute. Oh, number 9, what would the dilation be? What do you get for number 9? Oh, they didn't reward number 9? Yeah. Oh, it's 0.5. Oh. Okay. Alright, any other questions for the first 16? No. Now, let's take a look at the easy stuff. Given the coordinates, looking at number 17, find the coordinates of the vertices of each figure after the given transformation. So, T prime, I'm going to get negative 1.5 and uh, negative 3. And the reason why, because I multiply it by 1.5, right? I multiply each by 1.5. So that's why I got negative 1.5 and negative 3. For u prime, I'm going to get 0, 3. So again, I multiply each by 1.5. v prime, I'm going to leave that out to you. And I'm pretty sure you guys can spin it many times. Right, any questions over here? No questions up until 50? Now 23 is even easier. Write a rule to describe your transformation. I'm going to say dilation of, let me find the, the, the scale factor. Remember, just get one value from the prime and divide it by the corresponding from the non-prime. Non so I'm just going to go 3 divided by 2, which I call... 1.5. Right, it doesn't matter which one we get. I think it would have been easier if we would have gone negative 1.5 divided by negative 1. Right, that would have been a little bit easier. But it doesn't matter which one we get. It's still 1.5. So you can divide. It's just divide. So divide a value from the primes divided by the corresponding value in the non-prime. Right, so you can divide like the y. You can, we can divide the x's or the y's, any so number, any number divided by the corresponding of the non prime So like in your y, so we have got a negative 1.5 divided by negative 1, cancel. Any questions? Let me take a look really quick.